After 14 years, Lakers star Russell Westbrook and his agent, Thad Foucher of Wasserman, Wasserman, excuse me, have parted ways. Foucher telling ESPN irreconcilable differences as the reason for the breakup between he and his longtime client. Westbrook's future with the Lakers remains uncertain as he's set to enter the final season of his $47 million contract. And the two apparently failed to come to an agreement despite Foucher's insistence that his best option is staying with the Lakers. He would go on to say this about Westbrook's market value and future with the team. The marketplace is telling the Lakers they must add additional value with Russell in any trade scenario. And even then, such a trade may require Russell to immediately move on from the new team via buyout. My belief is that this type of transaction only serves to diminish Russell's value and his best option is to stay with the Lakers, embrace the starting role, and support that Darvin Ham publicly offered. So you mean to tell me that Westbrook's agent told him, stay on your home team, make $47 million and start for the Los Angeles Lakers. And Russ said, nah, man, I wanna be traded. I'm done with you." What is Russ thinking? What could he possibly want that's a better situation for him? He's still on a contending team. Granted, they played horrible last year, but they had injuries, Russ didn't play well, and other guys just didn't fit the roster. But now you have a chance again to be a contending team, get a healthy team going, and start for your home team, the team you wanted to play for as early as last year, and now it's not good enough for you, you wanna go somewhere else? Honestly, I love Russ, but does he really still think he's OKC Russ and he's just wanted everywhere and everybody's willing to break the bank for him? Let's not forget the best part. Russ blamed Frank Vogel last year and they got a new coach in Darvin Ham who supports Russ and still believes that he's a great player and a starter and he still wants to be traded? Are you kidding me? Perk, uh, tell me this. Do you think it's a big deal that Russ parted ways with his agent right now? Hell yeah, it's a big deal. Yes, it's a big deal, especially at this time. We're talking about two guys, two individuals that had a, a great relationship that both made a lot of money throughout this journey together in Thad and Russell Westbrook. And what Thad is saying from, from what I'm hearing, now, look, it's two sides to every story, right? It's Russ side, it's Thad side, it's actually three sides. Russ side, Thad side, and it's the truth, okay? Yeah. Here's the truth, right? Russell, Russell Westbrook actually wants out, okay? Russell Westbrook been hearing the trade rumors and things to that nature. Thad position is to tell Russ, you know, hey, listen, man, what, what's going on right now? You don't want to be traded again. I believe it's going to be Russ, what, third or fourth team in the last four or five years if he happens to get traded. That is not a good sign for Russell Westbrook, especially after the season he had last year. This is a make or break season for Russell Westbrook. I'm not talking about in the past. We all know that he's a first, uh, a first ballot future Hall of Famer. We know this. We understand that. We're talking about the future now. And if Russell Westbrook don't deliver in this next year, I don't. It's going to be crazy to see the drop off from going from a guy that you're actually a leader, a guy that's you're a franchise type of player to all of a sudden that he could possibly be like, do we really want Russ on our team? So Russ has to be careful, but it's a huge deal. You know what, Perk? I, I disagree with you as far as his agent situation and firing Thad. His agent can't play basketball. And you at the tail end of your career in terms of making big time money. So it's not, it, the, the fact that they can part ways doesn't mean anything. They had a long run. West, Westbrook is in control of his own destiny. As long as he hires somebody that's dialed into the NBA circles, that understand where the bones are buried at, can communicate not only with the Lakers, but whatever team seeks him out, I think that makes a world of a difference. I don't understand why firing his agent at this point in time has anything to do with, with Westbrook's career. You said, you said just now, I was listening to you, and you said something along the lines of, it could hurt him in the long run. I'm like, well, Westbrook is at the end. He ain't got but a couple more years to play basketball, so I don't know how that could even hurt him. And in terms of that earning power at $40 million, all that sort of stuff, he ain't making that no more. We both, me and you, know that that number's over with. He can play basketball for somebody for the next several years, and he's good enough to where somebody be willing, if he fits into their system, to take him, and he doesn't need that agent to do that for him. Guess what, Keyshawn? 
you and I believe or think that. Russell Westbrook doesn't believe or think that. And that's the problem. Like, again, Thad is not the player. you absolutely right. But Russell Westbrook, in his mind, he still believes that he's that guy, okay? And look, to each his own. He should believe that. He's been so dominant and he's been the guy for so long, it's hard to fall into a lesser role. But I'm going to give you an example. Then Carmelo Anthony have, had to learn the hard way when he was out the league for two years about taking a lesser role. Then we see the great uh, Allen Iverson, go through the same thing at the tail end of his career because he could have played a, what, another four or five years in a lesser role, but he his alpha male and his, his mentality and his pride wouldn't allow him to take a lesser role. This is the same thing that's happening with Russ. Perk is right. Russ just doesn't want to hear the truth. The agent told him the truth, and so he parted ways, and now he's going to hire a guy that's just going to tell him what he wants to hear and when those promises aren't kept, it's not going to end well for us. But that is all I have for this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Russ parting ways with his agent. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more NBA content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.